and this is KBFFR. And today, we're going to be talking about Freshman Foundations. Taught by the brilliant... What's his name? Mr. Rogers. And uh, in that class, at least this is what I learned, is communication skills. Like, when you're talking to somebody, let's say a boy or a girl, maybe both, and you're just like, hey homie, how are you doing? That's the polite way to say it, right? This is how somebody would handle it in a bad communication way. Hey, homie, what's up? God, that was ghastly. Now, that would be how you'd handle it in, let's say, a high school setting. This is how you'd handle it in post-secondary life. With, like, let's say you're at a business meeting, and you're presenting why your spray cheese is better than the other spray cheese. Our spray cheese sprays easier. You can write your name with it, make some cheese checks. You know what I'm saying. This guy over here does. This would be a bad way to handle it. Our spray cheese. That was pretty disturbing. You see, what makes this person good and this person bad is this person who's very clear with his voice. He really got the point, made eye contact. Now this person is right here. He made a very grave mistake. See, what he did is he didn't make any eye contact. Barely anybody knew what he was saying. His voice was so... Now to weather. Thank you, Steve. And I'm Janice Philberg. And as you can see, it's very cool. This just in. People skills. In Freshman Foundations, Mr. Rogers, you know, that class act guy, he's awesome. He taught us to not burn any bridges. By that, what he meant is, in a relationship, if one person some way hurts you, kills a cat in your family, you don't act venge-like to them. You don't want to act revenge. And that's what that means. How this applies to high school life is, let's say one of your friends kills your cat accidentally, and what you want to do is automatically not be this person's friend and kill them. But I'm telling you right now, you shouldn't do that. And so is Mr. Rogers. Instead, you should not burn bridges. Another thing that Mr. Rogers taught us in Freshman Foundation is about people skills. Is to put yourself in other people's shoes. Let's say you're in the lunchroom, and one of your homies get some ketchup on your shoes and mustard and mayonnaise. Your automatic response is go beat this guy down, huh? Well, right now, you shouldn't do that. Instead, you should put yourself in their shoes. This just in. Tolerance and diversity. Freshman foundations. Here, 11 o'clock. And we're back. Today we learned at Freshman Foundation that we have to tolerate other people's diversities. Like, you're going to encounter a lot of people that are different from you. And if you don't tolerate how to deal with them, tolerate with them, then you're just not going to succeed in life. You're going to end up poor, dirty, and living on the streets. And the last thing that Mr. Rogers taught us before we left his class for this year, 2008, is... You got it. Abstinence. Now we're going to get to a quick commercial break so that the adults can take away the children. Because this is graphic. Preston, Zach, Blake, get out. In most cases, you want to save yourself from marriage. And if you have a lot of partners, wink wink, before you're married, it's not going to appeal to your partner. So, go abstinent and you'll have a happier life with no diseases. Stay sexy, Mountain View.